Hello friends, welcome to this session of data visualization with R and ggplot2. Today, I will introduce you to a package ggpub R. This package gives us very elegant plot in minimum code. Most of science students and researchers always are short of time and labor. Most of us don't like complicated processes and follow the rule, keep it simple and stupid. Developers of R programming know this very well. It is developed by statisticians to be used by non-programmers. Developers at R always go on reducing the lines and complexity of the code required to get a task done, and that also without any loss of performance. It adds extension packages to provide wrapper functions with minimal arguments to do a task. ggpub R is such an extension to ggplot2. It provides publication-ready plots with minimal code. Let's see that. This is data for the plot. It's a simulated data for yield of five varieties of a crop. Five replicates of each variety are recorded. Here, we want to compare the varieties. First, we will look at graphs which show distribution. This is the data which we are going to use for demonstration. Variety is a vector of uh, five letters a to e obtained by using function rep then yield is composed of uh, five vectors combined together and these vectors are obtained by using function r norm these vectors are obtained by using function r norm and this is five numbers we want n is equal to five mean is equal to seven and standard deviation is equal to one and all these vectors are combined in a data frame data dot frame in bracket variety and yield and uh, head will show us first six rows of the data frame. We will run this and uh, data frame has the structure. First is the character vector and second is the numeric vector. We need package ggpubr. Therefore, we will install ggpubr using this command or we can go to tools menu, install packages, type ggpubr here and install that. I have installed it. Therefore, I will not install. Cancel. Then load the library ggpubr. We will run this. And now ggpubr functions are there available for us. Let's get histogram first. Gg histogram is the function. And first argument required is data frame. After data frame, the vector which we want to see distribution of here, that is yield. And in ggpubr, you have to enclose the vector to be plotted in double quote. And you have to remember this, otherwise error will be there yield and this is sufficient to get a histogram i will run that and that histogram is there but uh, this histogram doesn't have any color and no separation of categories a b c and that's there variety a b c i will write fill is equal to again in inverted quote vector var we'll run that and this distribution is there Let's appreciate the plot. We haven't coded for these borders, but uh, still column borders we got by uh, thanks to the function gg histogram and we got the legend also and legend placed above the graph and this is also encoded as default by the function gg histogram. Histogram is not suitable to see distribution here because our data contains very few values. Therefore, we will change this to gg density, density plot and this is sufficient code and this density plot is there i will show you another facility that we can add is equal to and i will add here mean and we'll see what happens and means of each category in that variety has been shown please note the transparency here transparency of each category is reduced so that overlaps can be visible city i will change to box plot gg box plot df and box plot require two variables i will keep variety as x variable and comma variety inverted comma yield again and we will run this and box plot is there a b c d e distribution can be clearly visible we will change box plot to violin gg violin and this is sufficient this add mean is not required and gg violin is there we will try to add box here in gg violin 
and it's a good that we can combine two geoms very easily in ggpbar add is equal to box plot again in inverted comma and box plot has got added to yoli change the data set because this data is very narrowly distributed i will change this data frame to iris iris is a built in data frame iris and here i will change this to species species is a categorical variable in data iris and yield i will change to sepal dot length and fill again we will change to species species is a categorical variable iris is a flower and iris data set contain measurements of that flower morphology and this is while in plot combined with box plot this is all for distribution and now we will visualize correlation using ggpbar and this is the data for correlation this is concentration vector concentration 1 and it is obtained by using function sec 0 is the lower limit 100 is upper limit and difference between two values will be 10 then this concentration 1 vector is replicated three times to account for readings by three students and replicate concentration 1 times is equal to 3 then this is the vector for student student names stdt is equal to uh, letters 1 to 3 is replicated 11 times and these are the absorbance readings r norm multiplied by a coefficient and 11 a normal distributed number generated with mean 150 uh, 0.157 and sd 0.05 multiplied by concentration 1 to get readings by student 1 and this is the reading by student say 2 and this is the readings by student 3 and uh, this data frame is created to accommodate these three vectors concentration st student and absorbance and this is the head of the data frame and we have visualized first six rows of the data frame df let's plot correlation using scatter plot and gg scatter is the function to get scatter plot and first argument is data frame df new we are going to use and x axis will be the next argument that is concentration c shall be small concentration then od y axis it is color will be determined by stdt color is equal to stdt and this is sufficient will run that and scatter plot is there to this scatter plot will add smooth value add is equal to in bracket reg dot line and this will add smooth and this smooth line is there now this scatter plot can be modified to a balloon plot size of each point will be determined by its value we'll see what happens and balloon plot is there and to the balloon plot this add is not a correct parameter appropriate parameter so if we will remove this add and again we'll run this we have got the plot now along with the color we can have fill also fill is equal to these bubbles will get filled with color and this fill will also be determined by stdt and this is the balloon plot value of each point is determined uh, size of each point is determined by the values we can visualize correlation using line plot also the line plot is not suitable but i will show you how to go for line plot gg line and we'll run that and gg line is there we can see how these points are evolving further as according to concentration and now we will look at bar plot and bar plot require a categorical variable and a numeric variable for that this data we are going to use uh, students name of students is equal to letters 1 2 3 3 abc will be there score uh, c 35 48 27 27 and these two vectors are uh, stored in data frame data dot frame uh, st comma score and this is the data frame for that df we'll run that code and we'll see the df and we'll use this data frame to plot bar plot gg bar plot function and first argument is data frame then x axis student will be the x axis and 
score will be the y axis all shall be in inverted quotes then this is sufficient to get basic bar plot we will run that we have got the bar plot now we can fill color fill is equal to i will add sky blue and we will run that and color has been filled now labels we can add very easily label is equal to logical value or if you have labels then you can have vector of that label we will run this labels are there label position also we can manage lab dot position is equal to in i will write and this shall be in in double inverted quotes we will enclose that that's why error was there labels are in we can adjust label color also lab dot color is equal to here i will go for white and run that and this is about basic bar plot offered by gg bar plot to learn more about bar plot i have added some complexity to the data a student is replicated three times each will be replicated three times subject i have added this vector and uh, english math and science this vector is repeated times is equal to 3 uh, this entire vector english math science will get repeated then score is there to the score we have to add scores for other six values nine values are there and uh, these three vectors we have stored into data frame and this data frame is df we will run that and this is the head of that data frame english our data frame has three vectors two categorical vector and one ca numeric vector and one of these categorical vector we can use as x axis and other can be used for grouping we'll start plotting gg bar plot is the function first argument is data frame second argument is x axis that is student third argument is y axis that is score and we will separate that using fill fill as per the subject vector we'll run that and we have got this stacked bar plot this stacked bar plot can be converted to grouped bar plot by using position argument position is equal to position underscore dodge and there we will add 0.9 as dodge width and this is the group bar plot a b c sometimes we may need to plot mean of the categories therefore this fill subject and position arguments i will remove and here i will add mean and we will run and this mean have got uh, plotted just by doing a small change we can add error bar to the bar plot here mean i will change to mean underscore ac and we'll run that and error bars got added to bar plot in this example error bar has been plotted as mean plus minus standard error we can change that to mean plus minus standard deviation also by changing it to mean underscore standard deviation i will run that in all the above plots we have not given axis labels explicitly and those were taken by default as the variable names but here we can change those i will change here x lab is equal to student name y lab is equal to score title is equal to gg pub r demo and we can have caption also caption is equal to i will put dummy caption source simulated data we'll run that and that's it we have axis labels we have a uh, title we have caption also is not all for ggpubr there is much more ggpubr is very handy to plot publication ready plots thank you for watching this video if you have liked this video 
please click the like button subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet and share this video with your friends and with your students press bell icon if you want notification of my new videos thank you